Parks such as open area amusement parks have played a major role in entertainment since their beginning. Since early on in our history, especially in Kansas City, they are filled with magical moments, wonderful sights, fun memories, and great experiences. But although some of our favorite original parks hold this magical glow and tint to them that everyone loves, there are also dark negative things that have happened in the past that is unknown to many and undiscussed to this day. But we'll get to that very soon. There were actually two electric parks located in Kansas City. The first park located in the East Bottoms was founded by Joseph Heim and his brothers. Open from 1899 to 1906, Electric Park proved to be an immediate success. It was named as one of the world's first full-time amusement parks, featuring a shoot of shoots called the Mystic Shoot. The three brothers owned a brewery down in the East Bottoms, of course, that was very successful, but not to their extent. They decided to find a way where they can attract more customers toward their business. And then they created the first electric park. Unfortunately, the park popularity grew small, so then they created the second electric park. The Heim Brothers shows 46 in the Paseo for the new spot. Electric Park 2 opened in 1907 featuring several of the same relocated rides. By the 1920s and the 1930s, radio and movies drew interest away from amusement parks, and the lights, fountains, and rides of Electric Park were no longer a great attraction. In 1925, a fire spread throughout the park and destroyed many of its buildings. Swimming and dances, remained popular there until a second fire in 1934, forced what remained of the park to shut down. Parade Park was privately owned but was used as a space for temporary activities. The park was located on 1600 John Buck O'Neill Way in Kansas City, Missouri. The master plan was for the development of Kansas City parks and boulevards to include the parade as a central place for outdoor activities, games, and etc. In 1899, William Rockhill Nelson, publisher of the Kansas City Times and Star, suggested free baths to be established for every household, because not every house had plumbing. Another reason why Parade Park was built was because it was for raising money by the Epperson Megaphone Minstrels, which was a volunteer group who helped raise money to improve the city. The public bathhouse named The Grove was constructed in a day when many Kansas Cityans had no bath facilities in their home. It was acquired by the city in 1848 at the cost of $155,000. A large wadding pool was constructed in the deep end of the ravine in the park. In 1938, the bathhouse was torn down to make a new community. At the time, this combined park and playground was considered the most completely equipped and finest in the city. Today, the neighborhood is no longer strictly residential. Located in Prospect Avenue in Kansas City, Missouri, lies Fairyland Park. The park operated from 1923 to 1977. At the time, it was closed due to lack of attendance and story damage. Marcia Bracano Acruzzo, grandfather Salvatore, aka Sam Bracano, was a Sicilian immigrant who came to America by trade in 1896. After settling in Kansas City, he picked up a job as buying real estate. A few years down the road, he opened up Fairyland Park. Fairyland Park fast became a popular destination. The best thing about Fairyland Park is just that it brought so many great memories for so many uh, uh, generations of, of Kansas Cityans. It, you know, it was it was in business from 1923 through 1977. Uh, it closed in 1978. Um, it did overlap Worlds of Fun, which opened in 1973, which was a competitor and, and, led, and led to its demise. Uh, um, I'll go back. I've talked to some other people as well that were, uh, you know, African Americans uh, and, and, and other minorities who were excluded from that park. So, it, so again, they have bitter memories. They don't have fond memories of Fairyland Park. They just they have memories of it of, of this. Uh, a uh, fun, grand place that they didn't have access to. 